This is the only ping optimization video you will ever need to watch. Yes, today I'm going to be showing you how to lower ping, lower latency, and increase your internet speed in literally a few steps. Now, this is primarily for gaming and will work really good for Fortnite. I know a lot of you guys watch me for my Fortnite content, but you know, it would generally increase speeds if you're watching, I don't know, a Netflix movie or you're trying to download something, this will help. So getting straight into this, first of all, first step, and I know this is going to be annoying to hear, if you do not have an Ethernet cable, get on ethernet and now if you physically can't no problem i've done a whole video on how to optimize wireless internet connections specifically i will link that down below but make sure to watch this first because there will be some tips in here that i won't cover in that video but if you guys are on ethernet and even if you're on wireless this will help nonetheless if you go here control panel network and internet network and sharing center here network public network you will find where you are connected so it should say connections this may be ethernet it may be wireless i don't know just click onto this go to properties and make sure to copy these settings right here literally untick everything else besides qos packet scheduler and internet protocol version v4 i know some people were asking about v6 if i use ipv6 do i keep this do not worry about it untick it and once you have done that go to configure go over to advanced and you want to copy all my settings here so i'm going to click through arp offload disabled energy efficient ethernet off flow control disabled idle power down restriction disabled interrupt moderation disabled interrupt moderation rate off ipv4 checks and offload disabled jumbo packet disabled large send offload v2 disabled large send offload v2 ipv4 and v6 both of them are disabled locally administrated address just have it on not present ns offload disabled packet priority and vlan have it on packet priority enabled speed and duplex this you want to have on the highest option that is gigabytes so the highest gigabytes option mine's 2.5 gigabytes which is of course bigger than megabytes and full duplex make sure it's full duplex tcb checks and offload all of these right here v4 v6 disabled every single one here wake on magic packet disabled wake on magic packet from s5 enabled and wake on ma pattern match disabled so most of these we are disabling and why is that because they are useless and for people that are already getting ready to comment uh, but, but, but why are we disabling these uh, you're not telling us anything i've made a whole video on this going more in depth so if you want to learn about that specifically i'll link that down below as well which is a more in-depth ethernet specific video kind of like the wireless one i made but this video is going to cover that briefly and also some things i did not mention in that video so again make sure to watch this first and then you can go off and check out those videos for more information also i almost forgot but power management make sure if you can turn all of these off and actually if you go to go back here to where it says internet protocol v4 if you go to properties you can actually right here change your dns server now generally speaking i'm on what is in my case the most optimal server but for gaming to put yourself on a cloud gaming server what you want to do and this will increase your ping change these values so this top one change it to one 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 so four ones and the alternate dns server changes to one zero zero one so again mine's different but this is very system specific for most of you generally speaking you want to be on what i just mentioned so again all ones at the top and one zero zero one at the bottom once you've done that you can press okay and now we are done in here the next thing would be to actually put you on a good power plan an optimized power plan believe it or not this does affect your internet to a degree a lot of people don't know that what i recommend as i've got some secret secret custom power plans i recommend you guys just go into ultimate performance which everyone can unlock and then we're going to configure it now to do this all you need to do is go to this website howtogeek.com you'll find it i can if i link it in the description i'll link it in the description i'll probably forget but all you have to do is search up how to enable performance mode you find this website right here um you want to find this code this code right here you want to copy it you then want to search up powershell right click this go to run as administrator and then in here you want to paste this little code press enter and it should say this now you want to reopen your power options because initially it won't show and to do this all you want to do is literally go back edit power plan go in here go better power options and you'll find ultimate performance you want to enable that just click onto it and then you want to click change plan settings now when you're on here there's a lot you can actually optimize i'm going to show you everything not everything here is going to improve your internet but there are some things and also you're going to get some like you know additional fps boost i'm here i may as well show you everything this is the most optimized power plan so thank me later so desktop background settings slideshow available you can turn that on and off it does not really matter wireless adapter settings power saving mode maximum performance sleep allow wake timers enable usb settings selective suspend setting enabled a lot of these don't matter right by the way um psi express link state power management off processor power management 
These are like additional things. I have mine both 100% for the best CPU. If you guys have a really low end CPU though, and you get high temps anyway, I recommend keeping this on the default value. And yeah, that is essentially everything for your power plan. Now, the last thing I can suggest is to go into your task manager right here. If you go down to startup apps, you want to disable as many of these as possible. So be very, you know, strict here and, and honest with yourself. If you don't need anything to start when you start your PC, so for example, I wouldn't need WhatsApp. I wouldn't need Discord. I definitely wouldn't need Spotify to start. Turn these off because what's happening is these are running in the background they're using bandwidth that you don't even know about and it's lowering or increasing sorry your ping so turn off essentially everything you can for me there's certain things like my steel series gg.exe this i use this for the lighting on my keyboard i need it um i use this for a certain setting i have on my mouse that needs this running and go xlr i also need for my microphone for most of you you will not have any of these and you can disable pretty much everything if you're unsure whether you should disable something like comment it down below and I will let you know. I will, I will let you know if you can disable it. You can also go into startup apps just in here in Windows and your settings. And there's some stuff you can disable here. There's some stuff actually that may not even show in your task manager or vice versa. So double check this as well. If you're on Windows 10, you can type in here background apps and you will have an option for background apps that you can turn off. So there'll be something that says let apps run in the background. Turn that off. Now for Windows 11 users, unfortunately, we don't have that luxury. There are, as you can see, I have something here. This is from a guy called Freefy, I believe it's spelled like F R. E no F R free free T H Y I believe you guys can check him out on YouTube and he provides this kind of code right that you run on your PC and it will disable that for you now I cannot provide this it isn't mine but yeah go and check him out nonetheless what we can do on Windows 11 is just manage our installed apps there's a lot on here that would you know run as a background app so most of your background apps tends to be those futile Windows things like Microsoft Store or Calculator or Teams or I don't know Outlook right things are automatically installed that you don't ever use you can delete them here you don't use them anyway to eliminate this issue entirely just uninstall them this is my best suggestion for windows 11 just go through here be very harsh delete things that you don't need so i use notepad but this is one you can probably uninstall and also if you scroll all the way down you'll find system components which may let you install even more things that are kind of hidden in the back end and they, they don't want you to get rid of and last but not least i almost forgot this step um is get rid of your temp files if you type in run you can also i think just type this straight into the windows bar if you type in percent 10% you can delete everything in here this is not going to affect your pc it's not going to affect your performance it's like temporary garbage it's, it's a trash can basically that it's a secret trash can that you can't just it's not like the recycle bin which you can just go in and delete no it's a secret trash can get rid of everything in here you don't need it there's certain things i can't delete because i'm using softwares which are using them so i think right here it's not going to let me do it if i'm correct but let's see oh yeah see there's a lot i cannot delete because i'm i'm using google chrome but delete as much as you can you can just press this you can press skip there we go. And it's lead as much as it could. I'm not sponsored, but I happily would be. So yeah, uh, check out CC Cleaner as well. This is something that you can do and get in a routine habit of deleting things you don't need and just cleaning up your PC. This is really good. Really, really good application. I use it. I pay for the premium version, actually. So yeah, again, C Clean, if you're watching this, hit me up. But actually, you know, I'll open it and show you right now. I may as well. But it literally says I have 16 issues to resolve. It's crazy. But yeah, and here you can do so much. You can do a professional health check on your PC. You can optimize your performance. You can do a full drive update, which especially if it's a network driver, this can improve your ping and also it can improve your performance on, you know, in other areas because you want to keep your drivers up to date, especially those graphics drivers. You can also, you know, fix your registry items in here because this could cause performance issues, not necessarily ping related, but other performance issues. You can uninstall things as well. This is a better way of doing it. And yeah, there's just so much in here. I highly recommend this. Also, I'd recommend Malwarebytes. Again, I pay for a premium version of this and I pay for it. This is not a sponsor, but this is something that I also highly recommend that again, there's free versions of both of these programs and no one ever really speaks about them, but they're hands down the best. This lets you scan for viruses and there's something called PUPs. I think they're called potentially unwanted programs. And these, right, you get them from downloading stuff and you don't even know that, that they exist and they cause a lot of problems. They can lower your ping and also they take up space on your PC, which in turn lowers performance, increases input lag, all of that stuff you don't want. So yeah, you probably have a lot of PUPs on your PC if you have never ever scanned it for them. So get this, you can use it. It's, it's actually free to scan for PUPs and it will remove them for you. So yeah, definitely check out Moabytes.